Hello Grade 12s, in today's lesson we will look at an assembly diagram of an office chair as well as the plans of a house from different viewpoints. Let's jump right in. This is the assembly diagram that can be used to assemble an office chair. The assembly diagram includes instructions and pictures. Instruction 1 shows us the parts we need to use and gives the instruction, attach 5 casts to base, push firmly until they click into place. Instruction 2 tells us to push the hydraulic stem into the base. Instruction 3 tells us to push the control plate into the hydraulic stem until it clicks into place. Instruction 4 says that we need to attach the chair seat onto the control panel using the four screws with spring washers. Instruction 5 tells us to attach the arms to the seat using screws and plastic caps. Finally, we need to fix the chair into place using the four screws and plastic caps. Now let's take a look at the fully assembled office chair from different views. Here we have the front view of the chair. Here is the side view. And here is the back view of the chair. An assembly diagram can be very useful when assembling furniture. Perhaps you've seen other types of assembly diagrams for electrical plugs or cell phones. All assembly diagrams are useful but only if you follow the instructions. Let's move on and take a look at the plan of a house. This is a floor plan of a very simple house. We could call this the top view of the house. It's important to know that all measurements on plans are given in millimeters. Also, take note of the compass direction points. All plans should have a compass to show how the building should be placed on the land. The compass directions usually look like this, with north pointing up, south pointing down, west is on the left and east on the right. Did you know that most houses in the southern hemisphere are built with their bedrooms and living areas facing north? This is so that we can take advantage of the warming rays of the sun. Let's take this floor plan of the house and use it to draw the north, south and west view of the house. The north view or elevation of the house shows the front door, the living room window and the second bedroom window. The south view or elevation of the house shows the kitchen door, the bathroom window and the first bedroom window. The west view or elevation shows the living room wall and the pitch of the roof. No windows are shown as there are no windows on the west side of the house. Can you see that the east elevation will look exactly the same as the west elevation? There are no windows on that side of the house and the width of the house is the same on both sides. Well, that's it for this lesson. Thank you for joining us Grade 12s. Remember, the tasks for this section can be found in the Plans and Scale Task video. You'll also be able to learn more on our website www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.